Hello, welcome to a look at the align panel. So the align panel is pretty cool. And you can see that if we have an object selected, we can align it to the left, we can align it to the middle, we can align it to the right or the top or the bottom. And, and in, in this way, of course, you could go all around the corners, right? Like that. And you can see we're aligning layers to the composition. So that's one way that you could do that. Now let's uh, take, a, take a look at the situation where we have two items selected. So if we align to the left in this situation, we're going to go, it's going to take the blue circle here as the reference point. If we align to the right, so essentially it's looking at what, it, when it says right, it's saying, what is the edge that we look, what is the edge that uh, is furthest to the right already? Then bring the other objects, which are there to that position. So again, going to the right there. If we go to the left, blue circles to the left. So we're going to need to move the red one over. So that is how that works. And if we, we do top, the blue circle is going to go over the red, uh, you can see aligning to the top edge because that is the, the furthest edge. And when we do the align horizontal, it's going to essentially draw, a, it's going to essentially try and find a line going, uh, a vertical line going directly through the center of both objects. And it's going to move each of them half the distance that it needs to go, right? So you can see that both items moved, both, uh, if just look at that one more time. So you can see the red, the red square goes over to the left. The red, so the red rectangle goes over to the left and the blue circle goes over to the right. So it's essentially taking averaging out those points. Okay, so say we wanna, let's try and align now. Let's actually use uh, the other thing here, this dodecagon. And we'll put this one in the bottom. And we'll put this guy in the top. So this is probably something you might wanna do. Like how do we get this circle right in the middle of these two items? Okay, so now we have these three items selected you can see the distribute panel opens up. And what we probably want to do is distribute them vertically. So we can go to the left. So if we do an align to the left, this circle is going into, into place on the left-hand side. Now we want to distribute vertically. And there you can see, then it goes into the middle section. So then you can, you can have all these three items distributed vertically like that. Uh, let's try on the bottom, the uh, bottom as well, just to see how that might work. So we're going to select three to unlock the, the panel there. We're going to need to align the blue circle to the bottom. So it's going to look at these, the bottom edge, which is basically the same with the yellow and the, the red there. So we'll go to the bottom on that one. And then we want to distribute horizontally this time. So we want this blue circle to go into the middle section. Okay, let's try all four of them, I guess, at this point. So we'll put this guy maybe on the left at the top. So what we could do is if we want to move, if we want to try and maybe align them all along this line and we want to distribute these four shapes across the whole thing, we'll select all of these three shapes. We want them all to move up. You can see this is aligning to selection, but we don't want that. So that's just essentially taking the top edge. So we want to actually align that to the composition. And then we could do the top, and then it will move up. Then we could select our fourth shape. And then we want to distribute them equally on the horizontal plane there. And that's about all for now. So thanks for watching.